Ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for you. How would you like 17 teraflops of computing power? If the answer is yes, sir, I would like that very much, well, then this video is probably for you. But first, let's discuss the R9 390X, and not the dual liquid uh, VR GPU, which is the one that sports 17 teraflops. So, Starting it with the Fiji XT, also known of course as R9 390X, it's pretty much confirmed at this point, uh, judging by bitsandchips.it. Um, there's an article link, by the way, if you want more information, including my sources and so on, in the video description. So go ahead and check that out, where we also go more into the 2.5D stuff, uh, if you're not too familiar with it. But anyway, getting back onto topic... It's been pretty much confirmed that the R9 390X will indeed feature 8GB of high bandwidth memory. Now some of you might be aware that the first generation of HBM pretty much has a limit, and this limit is only 4 gigs, which is what the previous uh, rumours concerning the R9 390X said. It was like, hey, it, it has 4 gigs, but any more than that, who knows. But SK Hynix, who are the ones who are uh, supplying AMD with, the, with this type of memory, are going to be utilizing a new piece of technology. Now this piece of technology is going to pretty much stack um, four dual one gigabyte HBM modules on an interposer and this provides them with the eight gigabytes that they require for of course the next generation games and regarding the release date we don't know it exactly but Further murmurs, further rumours concerning the R9 390X. Don't know about the other cards, but they're basically saying that the GPU is most likely going to be unveiled at some point at Computex. And Computex, for those of you who don't know, it's basically in the first week of June. It runs from the 2nd all the way to the 6th, although sometimes there is some, you know, a few shinies before and afterwards. But, anyway, what about the big one? What about... the uh, 395 or the liquid VR or liquid GPU or whatever there's it doesn't really have an actual name at the moment so these are just kind of like the dubbed names or AMD are kind of giving it code names so others are calling it the Fiji VR but anyway it's a dual GPU design so pretty much like the R9 295 uh, X2 but it's designed to power virtual reality headsets and supposedly it's doing this in close conjunction with Liquid VR. Now, Liquid VR, if you're not too familiar with it, is a SDK which AMD are releasing to help to improve the performance of virtual reality. In other words, A, reduce latency, B, improve performance, and various other bits and bobs, including efficient GPU head tracking. It puts a lot of this stuff into compute. Um, and obviously, they're working with uh, companies such as Valve, companies such as, well, I'm pretty sure you can guess Oculus Rift and, and so on. Anyway, getting back on the topic, the GPU supposedly is going to feature two um, Fiji XTs on it. And we don't know the exact performance, but the rumour is it's going to be about 17 teflops of computing performance. And we can basically break this down because the R9 390X supposedly hits about 8.6. Um, supposedly it has 4096 stream processors and they are rumoured to be running at 1050 megahertz. although there is a little bit of confusion whether that 1050 megahertz is boost or whether it's base. The number I'm hearing is base clock, in other words 1050 megahertz base, so it could go all the way up to like 1125 just for example but obviously I'm not saying that that's the case I'm just using it as an example that's insanity just think of how much performance that is and some people including myself to be totally honest have mentioned several times over that 4 gigs is good for now at 1080p but if you've been watching the Grand Theft Auto videos that we did um, how much memory they take like look at the one that we did the most recent one where you know we've got everything on it just 1080p and it's over 3.5 gigs of memory now yes of course you can technically play the game tell it to ignore those limits but you're going to get a lot of swapping 
and it's not an ideal way to play the game. You'll notice the frame rate goes up and down as it's swapping, of course, over the PCIe bus into main system memory. In other words, it sucks. It's not really what you want. And obviously, it will depend somewhat on your setup. The bottom line is, though, 4 gigs now is pretty much what you want for a next generation card. You know, if you've got like a GTX 780 tie, you're going to be okay for now, um, with the exception of the odd game here and there. But most people will agree that 4 gigs is really what you want on a high, uh, high spec card. But that's for now. With DirectX 12, with high resolution displays, and let's just be honest, 1080p now, it's not a high resolution. You know, for consoles, it's all great and all, but for PCs, it's like, oh, 1080p, that's nice. You know, a mid range card can easily do 1080p. G uh, PC displays now are moving towards 1440p or even 4K, and God help you if you're doing VR, because you know with VR, each individual screen has to have its own, uh, well, it basically it's rendering two different displays, and that's why, of course, AMD are pushing towards the VR, um, well, the dual GPU. It's going to be very curious how all of this stacks up, and of course, AMD are not the only ones releasing new GPUs. NVIDIA are, of course, releasing the GTX 980 Ti. From what the rumours state, theoretically the 980 tie won't be as fast as the VGXT, but obviously we don't have benchmarks. It's not like I have both of them here because neither of them are released and neither of them are finished and the drivers are still being created, blah blah blah. But that's just from what people are saying. The GTX 980 tie effectively is a memory reduced Titan, but with higher clocks. That's pretty much the selling point, although it's going to be a lot cheaper. The 395, of course, will have a much higher price point um, than, let's say, the R9 390X, which is going to be the one that's aimed at most enthusiast gamers. So let's assume that you've got a 1440p display, it could be FreeSync, just for example, and you're saying, hey, I need a GPU for this. Well, there you go. That's the GPU, which obviously AMD are pushing you towards. You know, if theoretically you'll have more than enough performance. Unfortunately, all we can do is wait and uh, see how it all goes. But now, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.